Okay, now we arrive at example two for our minor second etudes. Now we're starting with uh, just some basic power chord shapes in the first position here. Take note there that I'm using third finger on the E5, just makes the change here a bit easier for me personally. Another option, you could use your middle, but uh, I just find that's a bit more work to do that, although you might like that. We're then progressing up into some inverted shapes, seventh position to eighth. So we're really emphasizing this interval. Bit of a variation in the third bar. Into bar four. So we're using the same chords, just with different rhythms. Bars five and six are the same as bars one and two. We're gonna end a little bit differently here with some palm muting. So here's this section at uh, pretty much the same tempo since we're pretty slow anyway. Okay, for the next part, we're utilizing the intervals in octaves. So we begin like this. And we simply move that type of idea up into the next lot of octaves. So not only does this emphasize that minor second interval, it makes a really great position shifting and string changing exercise. Let's have a listen to that as a whole. Okay, we're kind of back to a similar idea after this with some single notes. Uh, to what we're doing in the intro. Sounds a bit like this. Point of this is really just to emphasize that position shifting of the intervals again. So that's the same note, just different strings. In fact, it's the same octave and same note. Okay, we start like we did to begin with. Next lot of octaves up, 10th and 9th on the G string. F and E on the E string. Another power chord idea. Go all the way up to the 15th and 14th fret now on the D string. 18th and 17th on the B string. Before finishing with an open E power chord. And then this really wicked high bend up at the 22nd fret. Now in the transcription, Guitar Pro 6 is a bit limited in this regard. I wasn't able to notate the repicking of it, but it is there in text. So we bend up. Something like that. So we're going to go from the open E. That sounded a bit chaotic. I was clipping the B string there. We'll do that again. Yeah, that's a bit better. And uh, it's pretty easy to finish with. We just do the open E power chord. Got the F power chord there and the E power chord. 